Hello everyone, it's Julia, Camellia Crafts Designs. I'm here today to tidy my desk. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to make some things. I've made a few things with the stuff on my desk already. Uh, I've just done a little bit of collaging, very simple collaging onto some glassine bags. I've done some onto some guest checks. And I'm going to do some onto another handful of things that I've grabbed. I've got some of these alteration tags, repair tags, some plain ones that I made myself, some bigger glassine bags. Oh, what are they? Luggage tags, guest checks. Yeah, so I don't know if you have the same problem as me. You do a project and I put most of the stuff away, but then I end up with all these little bits and bobs and I stick them in these. I've got loads of these everywhere. Just little baskets full of stuff so I want to get rid of some of these little baskets full of stuff and that's what I've decided to do with them I'm just going to make things with them I don't want to pull out anything else if I can help it I just want to use what's on my desk so yeah so, yeah you've got my desk it's starting as it usually finishes in a mess Right, I've had these glassine bags hanging around for a while. I bought the wrong ones. These are the ones where you tear off the little tab and you can seal them. I don't want those to decorate. So what I've decided to do is just cut that top bit off. I'm using my pinking shears. They get a bit stuck if you try and cut one bag, so I'm just going to cut two. Yeah, and then there you go. Now I've got some bags I can decorate. So let's start off with a couple of bags and I'm just going to use a very simple three-step method of collage. I'm not a collaging expert, I just do collage. <laughs> right, let's do two at once. So I've got a piece of book page. Yeah, I've always got this box full of bits to collage with. I try and keep it down. If it doesn't fit in there now, I try and... I don't keep it. So I'm just going to rip those in half. And I've got like half a page. Yeah, same there. And I'm now going to pick a label and some kind of focal point. Now I've got a load of big labels. I've got a load of ones that are plain. I've got a load of ones that aren't plain. So what focal points? I've got a couple of Timalt's pieces hanging about. I don't want to get any more Timalt's pieces out, but I've got a couple of these birds left. I think that bird... I like him there, yeah. I like how the bird is on the label background. And what can we put on here? I've got... These were hanging around on my desk. Oh, I like him. I think he would look good on there. Yep. Yeah. So that's two. I'm going to stick those down. The only other thing I may add is maybe one more tiny label at bottom or a word or just something like that. Yeah, but I don't know. So I'm going to just ink edges of these a little bit. One thing I have pulled out as well is my large text background stamp. I may put some of those on background or some, I may not. It just depends. So it's more of a craft along with me today. Just use, I must have got a dirty thumb there. I've covered that in ink. Dirty thumb, yeah. I've just touched that stamp, Anna, that's why. Silly woman. I don't think Birdie needs any ink on him. He's fine. And I'm gonna glue it down with my art glitter glue. I prefer to use that on glassine bags side am I sticking on? Oh, this one. I'm just going to like so because it's a bit curled. There you go. Whenever I've stuck anything onto a glassine bag I do tend to then just pop it under my mat so that everything stays flat while I'm drying. Yeah, I need some ephemera. I need some yeah, general ephemera I'm going to call it. Not everything that you put in a journal has to be its own little piece work of art, does it? I've got three journals on the go and yeah, I've gone through them and popped in 
pre-made ephemera and I've got spaces that need something else or spaces that just need a little bit of something but nothing too fancy I think this ephemera will be perfect <laughs> that ticket is filthy now I'm sure the bird won't mind in fact, do you know what? Because that ticket's filthy, I'm going to grab this stamp. It's obviously got some ink on it. I'm just going to try and put some words down the middle. There you go. <laughs> then it looks like I did it on purpose, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. I like that look, actually. I might do that on some more of my blank tickets. I've got so many tickets. I remember a while back... I've been a little run on making tickets because I'm like, oh, I've got no tickets and I need some. And since then, it's been ticket, ticket, ticket. I've bought digital ones and printed them out. I've made ones from stamps. And now it's like, let's do some collages with tickets. I like that. I do think it needs something else. And, yeah, I'm going to use that. But first thing I grabbed, I'm not going to um and ah. I just want to make this process simple and quick and get as many done as I can. Not that it's a race, but... Yeah, I've got too much rubbish. Too much rubbish on my desk in little boxes. And again, I've been inspired by Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doodah. She's been making a journal with a desk ephemera, as she calls it. So she's basically been making a journal with things that she's just got on a desk. Now I've got two desks. I've got one here and then there's another one sideways. I count this as my desk and all the rubbish on the other one. I don't tend to count as my desk, but it is my desk. And that's the thing that we're just getting totally covered in stuff. I know I'm not the only one. There are a few unicorn neat freaks out there. <laughs> and, and I know, yeah, I know, some of you are. I think I've got to a point as well where I don't have any more room left. There's no more room to put anything else that comes into this craft room. So I need a, yeah, I need a period of things need to leave the craft room. I need to crack on, get some journals finished completely finished so that I can get them out of the craft room and all the stuff that's in them. Right, what we're putting on here, was it going to be that and that? Yeah, I think I might have them a bit higher up and then I'll put some kind of word there. So it's still three basic things for my collage. Bit of paper, label, focal point and then perhaps a word. So it is four really, I'm fibbing aren't I? So if we call the fourth thing a last minute embellishment yeah <laughs> well, I've just just had this idea to punch some holes in some paper and put some eyelets in and stick some of them on that might be an idea well it is an idea whether it's a good one or not we don't know right I'm gonna do this every time I do these whichever way I choose to get the backing off these stickers so someone comes up with a different idea and it's just me I try my craft knife I use my pokey tool I use my finger I've tried the sell the tape method I can't go on with the tape method maybe because I will then so I'm looking for my pokey tool I'll rub it at you maybe because I will then dump the tape somewhere on my desk and it'll stick to something and ruin it so let's try pokey tool method and I find some stickers are better with some methods than others. I'm going to try a craft knife method. It's quite blunt, this craft knife. Don't panic. It's just not going to happen for me, is it? Go and make us in a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm going to try just peeling it back now with my nail. Which does tend to be a little bit more successful for me. I don't know why. And that method worked. Then I like to chop a bit off. There we go. And I can place my sticker. That looks about straightish where I want it. Then I'll just pull it back to peel the rest of it back enough. Then, then, other thing I've done there is not get my fingers all over back and took the sticky off it. 
Then let's get a little burnish. Whee. There we go. I like that. I don't even know where that sticker come from. Don't ask me. That's a random one. It could even have come in Happy Mail. So we've got two done already. Cooking with gas. Ooh, well, it's not supposed to be a mass make this. But I think I've got mass make in my head because I don't know why I've just been... My favourite channel at the moment is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Right. What we've got here now. Guest checks. I've got some that I've pulled off my stack. In fact... They probably come from a different book. So let's do two guest checks now. Now let's look at the ones I've already done. They're very simple, extremely simple. I even asked my daughter when I did that one yesterday. I'm like, is that too simple? She's like, no, I love it. And then I did this one, which is even more simple, but I like it. We've got the blue of the guest check. I've picked a little blue label there. The backing is green. I've gone for a green blut butterfly and some red there so I've gone for a bit of red I've just picked out those three colours of the guest check on this one I didn't put any red on and I th it needs it so I may get a little red label and add it to that I think in my head that's what that one is missing something red so for these I'm going to pick out those colours I've got my big labels these have been in a little pot on my desk for ages I spent ages doing these these are all from sets by Junk Journal Studio, I think, yes. And I just cut out the plain labels. There's loads of other labels in those sets. Right, so I'm going to go for a red one and a green one. Um, I think I'm going to go for big butterflies. I think I want something more colourful than that one. So grab my little butterfly tub. Oh, I've got some washy butterflies here. Ooh. What we got? Oh, pink. I suppose pink could be red. Yeah, pink could be red. Oh, we've got a bird cage with a bit of blue on. Oh, yeah. So, washi stickers. And I want another label on each of those. I like that. I'm liking this something halfway over a blank label look. But there's nothing wrong with it. If you like something, doing it over and over again. These are all going to go in different projects. So it don't matter. Right, a bit of blue. That's a nice little blue label. And what does that one need? It's got blue, it's got red. It's got green in it. I think this needs a blue label as well. So what we got? That one. No. These are Tracy Fox labels, these little ones. No. Don't want you there. But I might want you... Yeah, I've switched the sticker and the label around. Just grab a blue label, woman. Yeah, that's approved by approved by me. I'm going to pop that there. Yeah, I like them. Get a bit of ink on them and glue them down. So, I came to this with a mind of, I'll do some collage. Then I'm like, oh, I've not done collage for absolutely ages. But then you think, what is collage? It's just, it's sticking more than one piece of paper on another piece of paper, isn't it, really? Oh, you'll never hear me get all deep and meaningful about collage. <laughs> Other than, I always think things look better in threes or fives. They just do. Or sometimes if you're adding... Let's, uh, like the other one I did, I put three things on, then I stuck another little label on, didn't I? So that were four things, but I didn't really count that label. Whereas these, they've got just three things on, and I like them. They're not rocket science, they're not the main focus in a journal, it's not a work of art. But it's just going to make a page look pretty. Right, come on. Yeah, so yeah, I think the peel it off with your nail method is working the best for me at the moment. So let's stick you on. I could have used glue stick for that actually. Oh, that's a bit wonky. I want my cage straight-ish. There we go, that'll do. Peel back a label off. Eee. 
and just get a little bit of a burnish. And I'm just really inking around edges of these to take the white off the edge. Because these are, they're not white labels, the beige them. That one's white. I think I might leave that white because the outside of the guest check is white. Wee. And I'm using my art glitter glue because it's my favourite. Yeah, I think I want you there. Oh, that's lovely. You can pop that on a page, stick it on with some washi tape, turn it into a flip for journaling on the other side. Yeah, these look, look weird because they designed the guest checks, aren't they? So they flip up and then it's the right way around to be written on. So, yeah, make it as a flip up. And you can write there, do whatever you want. So that's that one. Oop. There we go. But yeah, I've spent far too much time trying to tidy my craft room before realising that, yeah, there's just far too much stuff in it. Let's stick that down first. I need to get rid of some. I reckon a lot of you can relate to me. If I I treat my craft room a bit like a craft shop, so if there's anything missing, I think I need it. Yeah, I do. I mean, I can get anything I want next day from Amazon. So why on earth I feel I need to have it in my craft room is anyone's guess. We just do, don't we? I've said it before. Once you come to terms with the fact that you're a craft supply collector as well as a crafter you'll feel much happier wee. I don't know why that deserved a wee I just don't oh, I like it plain fresh clean but I like it right wee. Yeah, I've got trouble with my eating again. It's my annual winter boiler bother. And it was first engineer visit yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry to offend any men who might be watching, but why on earth? Why on earth do certain types of men completely not listen to what you're saying? I mean, I've got a... Yeah, it's a unique eating system. It's not unique as in I'm the only person who's got this eating system. But it's unique as in when it was installed. It was installed incorrectly. So it's got its little quirks. And the engineer turned up yesterday. Right, what's up, love? What's up with it? Have you got eating? Yeah. Have you got hot water? Yeah. And they looked at me. I'm like, but I don't have eating in all my radiators. Right, we're going to need to bleed them. I'm like, no, we're not going to need to bleed them. And he looked at me as if, oh, how dare this woman tell me that we don't need to bleed her radiators. And I'm, I'm continuing then to tell him what's wrong with it. And you can see he's not listening. Uh, I didn't let him bleed the radiators. I directed him upstairs to, to where the control room is for my boiler. Oh, I like that. Right, let's get two more things to decorate on before I tell you the end of this enthralling story. Oh, I think I want to do a couple of these plain little luggage tags. They are very plain. Come here, little luggage tags. Let's do two of those. Yeah. And I think before I put anything on these, these are going to need a bit of inking out edges. So I'll ink edges while well, I tell you the rest of this story. So yeah, I dissuaded him from bleeding my radiators, took him upstairs and told him that yes, some radiators work, some don't. Uh, because you might be familiar with these systems. You have one thermostat that controls the upstairs and one that controls the downstairs. Well, I'm supposed to have one of them systems, but because it's wired up wrong, some of the upstairs radiators and my lounge radiators are on one system. And I think it's my craft room radiator, because I have that switched off, I wouldn't know. And the rest of my downstairs radiators are on other system. Completely bonkers, I know. So he whacks me eating on full. I, I mean, I've told him this. And then he's feeling out radiators in house and getting totally confused by 
fact that some are on and some are off. Have you got these switched off? I'm like, no, I haven't got them switched off. As I've been trying to tell you, these are all on one system together and they are the ones that aren't working. Right, so it goes in my boiler cupboard where my actual boiler is, as a fiddle about, comes out and tells me exactly what I've been trying to tell him since he walked through to do it. Yeah, it looks like uh, one of your systems isn't uh, triggering and yeah, thermostat's not turning radiators on and off. I'm like, I'm sorry I went into dumb man mode. <laughs> I put on a, a, a dumb voice there, but it's like, why? Is it misogyny? It is, it's misogyny, isn't it? Right, let's decide what we're putting in here while I'm rabbiting. I want some more labels. Ooh, I've just got some darker labels there. That might be nice. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. They look very plain, don't they? So, this is when I'm going to bring my stamp in. I'm going to use... I've got this Memento Toffee Crunch. It's a, it's a pale brown. Well, it's a pale toffee coloured brown. Now you can see it is pretty near to the actual colour on there. So I'm not going to ink right up to the top. I'm going to ink to about here. Um, there you go. So I've just pressed that on so it's not completely covered in ink and I'm going to do this one lower down there we go I think I need a bit more at the bottom of that try that yeah so we've got a bit of a background now haven't we so yeah it's like if that man had just listened to what I was saying yeah have you got eating yeah in some rooms if you'd just let me finish and say, yeah, I've got eating in some rooms, not in others. One system's working, one in. It would have been so simple, wouldn't it? But no, you knew better. I wonder how many man hours are wasted with people like that just not listening. Right, so we've got the dark label. I think on these I want a little bit of ripped paper. I don't want text because I've just put text on with that. I'm I'm going to go for music paper. Have I got any out? No. I say I'm not getting anything out. I'm not getting... Yeah, I'm allowed to go in my scrapbooking. <laughs> in my collage in scrap drawer. That's allowed. Because I do tend to put back in here when I'm done. I tend to put these away and leave everything else. And then think, oh, I can't put all that away now. I ain't got time. I'm just going to stick it in a little tub. Until sometime, whenever... Or never. I think that's too cream. I want some that's a little bit whiter. Do I have any? Maybe not. Maybe I've just got that. Ooh, that's text. I don't want text. That's not as cream, is it? I like that one. Ooh, look at that. I've got some pieces from a Chinese uh, dictionary that I had. I know I said I didn't want writing but this is, it is Chinese and it's characters isn't it rather than writing. Well it is writing, it's writing in Chinese not in English. Is there a name for alphabet we use? I know it's, it's used not just in English. Hmm, that's something I need to uh, Google when I've done. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to have a piece of that. And a label. And a focal point. I might be going off them really dark labels though. What do you reckon? I think I need to change them out. They belong on something grungier and darker. Sorry, they do. So let's see what other labels we've got hanging about. We've got these tickets. I've got a load of tickets here that were in a box. I've got a load of postage stamps that were in a box. Oh, I've got some tickets that I made here. 
they're rather large. They can be used as a journal card on their own, them, can't they? Huge. I'm liking these plane tickets. And what I need to do is not go and print any more off. Do not print more off when you've used these because these have been printed on your desk for weeks. Oh, I like that. So now we need more focal points. Do we want washi stickers? What we got in here? Oh, in shot properly. Yeah, I'm over on the left, but you're in shot. He needs to go on something wider. What else have we got? Anyway, upshot is I haven't got me eating working yet. Because he's had to go anyway and order a part. Of course, they always do that. He needs to order the part that, uh, yeah, triggers the thermostat, apparently. I know he couldn't have ascertained that over the phone, but he could have ascertained it a lot quicker than he did. And perhaps got round to see more people that day. Right, they're mainly butterflies. I've got a pack here with mushrooms in. I think I want to use some mushrooms. I don't count these as getting new stuff out because they were already stuck in a box of rubbish since I used them last time. Oh, I like that. That one's a bit flat and uninteresting. Oh, I like that one. I think I like that one better on the green and I think I like it better that way around yeah and then I could perhaps put a word on there oh I like that one I know it's not very colourful but I like it and that one these are some that I've just picked up off Amazon at some point That one's pretty. That one seems a bit more... No. That's a much clearer image. That looks a bit more blurry. Well, not blurry. Just not as clear. I think I'm going to go for that one. I know it's not the most colourful of mushrooms. But I like it. So. Let's get these inked and glued on. So yeah, sorry about that not so thrilling story about me eating. I'm not freezing, because like I say, I've got some radiators working and not others. And it's not too bad here. Luckily, they're coming back to do it on Thursday, which is when the weather is due to get below freezing here. To us, below freezing is below zero. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Ooh, what? In my house now it is 18.6 degrees Celsius. It's Fahrenheit, I don't know where it is. It's 65.5 Fahrenheit. That's only a little bit cooler than I like to keep my house normally. So I'm not freezing to death, don't worry about me. I'm not going to have icicles growing on me anytime soon. Let's ink these two as well. I might put a little bit more ink onto the edge of these tags. Yeah, these have took longer because I've been rabbiting more, haven't I? We know that I slow down when I'm rabbiting. Yeah, just a bit more ink further in. Right, I'm going to grab my glue stick to put this on because it's very thin paper. And if I try and put that on using my art glitter glue, it's going to get very wrinkly. Very wrinkly. I'm still using my purple. I quite like it. I've not had things that are made with it fall off. I just think a lot of glue sticks in general are better. If it says that it's permanent, it's going to stay on. They're better quality than they used to be, aren't they? Right, that's that on. Did I ink that? No, I haven't inked that yet. Ink that. This seems to have turned into collaging three items, one of them being a blank label. That weren't intentional. <clears throat> I'm just liking that look at minute. It would seem... Yeah, use glue stick. It does work out a bit cheaper than your art glitter woman. Be a bit frugal. 
Whee. Yeah, I'm, and I'm going to do a shameless Amazon plug and say that anything you see me use today, most of it is available on my Amazon storefront. So if you are wanting anything and you go through my storefront, I do get some commission. So yeah, shameless plug, done and dusted. Right. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah. And then I might just put a word there. Oh, on one of them, I printed, I just printed numbers out with my little Dymo machine. Again, that's something I picked up. This don't want to come off. I was saying it works best for me. Doing it with my finger. Oh, it did it. Yeah, again, I picked that up off Amazon. Eee. Got it more central woman. Yeah, we like that better. Yeah, the three journals ongoing. I've got that uh, eclectic one that I did and I've got a rose one which will be good with some of these butterfly bits in. And then I've got one, again, it's just made from random stuff that I've found around and about. Let's put a little bit more ink on that one. Whee. I'm going to challenge myself in the new year. I'm going to challenge myself to get two videos a week done because this year I've just not I've just not done as many videos as I would like. <clears throat> I think when my girls they've been at been at a tricky age. They both turned 17 this year. Right, they did the GCSE exams earlier in the year, then they started college. And yeah, they've just needed because they do have they're both neurodivergent and they've just needed a lot more help and support than they normally do. And I get into mode of, yeah, it's all about the kids. And I do, ne I neglect friendships, I neglect, I neglect all sorts of things. I'm just focusing on me and them. And I need to focus more on a little business bring some consistency back so yeah new year's resolution two videos per week even if one is just me tidying my desk i could do a weekly waffle where i just make something with whatever's hanging about on the desk the one sheet wonders are getting a little bit more difficult to come up with because I'm like, have I done that before? So yeah, you might see a few things repeated because I'm going to be like, well, if I can't remember having done it, I doubt anyone's going to remember me having done it. So I'll just do it. Oh, I like those. And yeah, I'm going to grab the Dymo machine. Where are you, Mr. Dymo? It's one of these. It's the old-fashioned label printer, isn't it? You're embossing it on rather than printing it out. And some, I'm not good with words sometimes. I don't know what words to put on. I'm not really into inspirational quotes and stuff. So I just did a random row of numbers. There we go. Do I need one more? Maybe. And then I'm just going to do a space and then I'm going to cut it. Come out. There we go. And I'm going to peel that off and stick it on. I like it. It's very black, but I like it. So that's that. And let's do random numbers. I'm going to start with a couple of spaces. Otherwise it print your number over the edge that's not a number woman that's a letter do you not know the difference between a letter and a number 
two, three, four, five. And space, cut. Hmm. We've got an awful lot there. Perhaps I didn't need two spaces. So seven, eight, five, nine. I have no idea what that number is. If it's someone's phone number, I do apologise. We weren't intentional. There we go. But it just looks interesting, doesn't it? Well, I think it does. So what we've got made now then, let's bring them back in and have a quick look. Have we done two guest checks? Yep. Yeah. Two tags. I think we do two bags. If we did, I've lost them. Have they gone? Here we go. So we've done two guest checks, two tags, two bags. Now that in, what, let's say half an hour, it's been 35 minutes. That's three yummy little bits of ephemera. All for one journal and for the other. So let's do a couple more. What are we going to collage onto this time? Put a pin in your glue, woman. Put a pin in your glue. We. There we go. So what have I got in this little pile? I've done glassine bags. I've done those tags, and I've done guest checks. What else did I have? Oh, I've got these. I think I'm going to leave those because I'm not in that kind of mode. I think I'm going to do the tall glassine bags. I've got something that's been hanging about. You've probably seen this in many videos and it's never made it onto anything. And I think it may be a bit tall now for the even these. This poor little piece of ephemera just, just don't make it anywhere. Hmm. Tell you what I could do. Right, grab your scissors. I'm going to cut it around that leaf. I'm not too keen on that caterpillar actually. I might have to stick a label on him. In fact, I can use that. There we go. I don't. I don't need to use the leaf and the caterpillar. So that's my starting point for that. I don't know what else I'm going to put on yet. Right. So let's do two tall, thin glassine bags. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a froggy throat today. Right. I've got these bags as well. These are bags, but I'm quite liking that paper. What else have we got hanging about on the desk? I've got a bit of hessian. I've got a bit of hessian. I've got some stamps. I've got lots of bus tickets, little bits and bobs that are left over. Oh, I've got some bits of doily. So maybe we'll do this one a little bit different, because I've sort of got into a little bit of a theme with others. That's a bent doily. So maybe a bit of doily. Oh, I could put it right up to edge. I like that. So it looks as though it's wrapping around. Doily. Flutterbys. That needs something on. Maybe put the doily on that side. Yeah, I like that better. So we'll stick that on right up to edge. We'll have one flutterby on and one off. And then I think I'll put a little label there. I saw this oval one. No, it needs something. It needs something a bit more something. Maybe a ticket. <laughs> it's just... It's very slippery. Very slippery, this glassine. Tell you what. Let's glue the doily on. Right. Um, do you know, I don't know, I'm... I don't know whether it's going to stick with glue stick. I'll tell you what, we'll try it. I honestly don't know if glue stick will stick paper to this glassine bag. Has that glue dried? Yeah. Ooh. Wow, my washer's spinning. It sounds like it's about to take off. <laughs> I hope it's okay. One of kids should be home any minute. Mm. 
Right. Oh, the purple's come through. It does dry clear. It does dry clear. If this all falls apart, I'll let you know next video. I'm hoping it doesn't. I could always staple it down the very edge anyway. You could still get something in and out of the bag then. It might even look good. Let's get some of that off. Yeah. It's getting a little bit lumpy now it's near end that one. I've had other people say they don't like that purple glue because it gets lumpy. First time I've had that problem with it. When that is, it's nearly finished that glue stick. Could be that. Might not be that. Oops. Clean your hands, woman. Right. So we'll carry on as though we know that's going to stick and jobs are good in. Look at that. <laughs> that's some beading thread. It's not a mad desk, ain't worth having. It, it may peel off when it's dry. I honestly don't know. I want to get this on. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it needs a different label. I don't think a bus ticket's going to cut it. Let's scoop some labels over. See what we've got. Whee! Move them out of way. So, oh, I've just let the door open. So if washer takes off, one of the kids will catch it. Oh, I think I want something dark green. Hi darling, just filming. No, it needs to be that. I want a green one, but I'm not getting another one out if I don't have one. Oh, I've got a round one. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's pretty. So I'm going to glue that on. I think some of it's glued to the bits of glue stick that were poking through them holes. I'm not going to ink edge of this. There's too many skinny mini little edges to ink. Yeah, I've definitely slowed down a bit, haven't I? I do that once I think, oh, you're doing really well now. It's like slow down and faff, and back, faff about a little bit. That'll do. If you're adept with tweezers, you're probably easier placing this with tweezers now. A pair in each hand. Perfect. I've seen people do it. I can't do it. I can't do it to save my life. There we go. I like that. I like that little bit of doily in the background. I really hope it stays stuck. I want a long label because I want to cover that cut bit up. I really don't want to have to put the caterpillar back on. No, he's, he's not. No, he's not doing it for me. That caterpillar. I don't really like him. Maybe. No, I don't like that in green. Maybe red. No, maybe blue. There'll be someone out there saying, <laughs> crying out loud, pick a label, woman. Blue. I like it. I'll pick blue. And I've lost my dabber. To be fair, my desk isn't any messier than it was when I started today, is it? Not any messier at all. So I really did start as I mean to go on. Whee. So that's that. Yeah, I like how it's covered that cut end up. It's plainer than others, but it's pretty and I like it. That'll look lovely in my rose themed journal, even though it's got no roses on. It won't be out of place. So, I'm now going to have to find something else tall and thin. I have grabbed me tubs of fussy cuts. A lot of these fussy cuts have been in here. But if you scroll back through my videos when I do collage, you'll see some of these flowers two years ago. And I do have some tall, thin ones. Mm, again, that's a bit too tall. What about that one oh, that one could be perfect oh I like that yes that's the one I'm not gonna look to see any others see if any others look better I can use the others on another bag that one looks good so I'm sticking 
right. I do have another half doily. It's a bit wrinkly though, but I think it'll do. Once I've put glue stick on, it should smooth it out. Right, which side shall I put it at? So we still took stuck to three items there, didn't we? Does it want to be that side or does it want to be that side? I think that side. And that is annoying me. That really is annoying me. I'm going to grab my craft knife and I'm going to cut that bit out. Let me grab my messy craft mat. Right, let's see how good we are with a craft knife now. That's far too much white space. I wouldn't normally be this faffy anymore with fussy cutting. But I obviously cut this out a long time ago. Because now I'm a bit more slapdash. But when I've cut it so close everywhere else, that one giant piece of white in the middle is driving me loopy loo. It's got to go. One more cut. Is that it? Yeah, gotcha. And retract. <laughs> I forgot last time. I do apologise. Right. So, see if that's falling off yet. Do you know, it seems to be stuck pretty well, that. I'm going to just put that under my mat while I do this one. Right. Get your glue book, woman. Oop. I'm going to get a different glue stick. You never know, it could be something to do with temperature. Because, like I say, it's colder. A little bit colder than usual in my house. That one looks fine. This is a new one. Right. That's a little bit bitty, isn't it? Maybe it's potluck. Oh, it's a lot stickier. Eee. Well, I like how I can just dab it and get some on. I like that you can see whether you've got some on when it's purple. I can't remember which side I had this at. I'm going to put it this side. Turn it upside down so you can line it up, missus. There we go. If there's any hanging over, you can always trim it off after. Just going to grab a bit of kitchen roll. There we go. Let's wipe you off, mate. Wipes off better with your finger, that actually. There we go. Oops. And oh, I've lost my flower. Again, I'm not inking that flower. That's far too fiddly to ink. So let's glue it up. So, yeah, if you don't know what to make in future. Tidy your desk and make some with bits that are left over. Whee. I mentioned earlier I've been watching Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. Because she does a mass make every week, I will keep mentioning that. When I did a mini mass make last week, loads of people had said they'd already seen Tina's. Oh, they're off to watch Tina's. Yeah, I've watched Tina since before I a long time before I had my channel. She can just make anything out of anything. Something out of nothing, in fact. Right. That looks good. Dab it down. I've not done any old-fashioned collage like this for a while. Old-fashioned. I don't know whether it's old-fashioned. 
It's the first type of collage I ever did. Right, and I need some kind of label. Don't take three days picking it this time, woman. Oh, I like that. But then that needs something in it. But I do like it. Hmm. What could we put in it? Could we put... Do you know, somewhere on my desk. Here it is. I've got this little... It's... It's a clothing label. That... It's been took out or something. I suppose I could. I could actually just glue that over edge. I've been wanting to put it on somewhere. Yeah, I'm putting that there because I can. Because I can and because I like it. Might have been better on something else, but I'd, I'd lose it. By the time I found something else to put it on, I would have lost it. It would have ended up on nothing or on the floor. Or maybe ink cat. No, she's she loves to eat. Well, I don't think she's eating the paper. She started to chew paper as well now as cardboard. It's like she's got a taste for it. Minks a little thing. I hope she's not bored. Because we do play with her. Just lately she wants to have her mad half hour just after we've got in bed. What's that all about? She's still grumpy. She does not like winter. We're remembering it from last year now. I thought it were a grumpy phase she was going through last year when we'd, when we'd had a, a few months, but one of mine said, I remember her being like this last year. Because last year she wasn't quite as tame. But she's gone really grumpy. It's because she doesn't like wet weather. She doesn't like... She doesn't like her... Regal little paws having to walk on wet tarmac. It's beneath us somehow. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got. I know those last two bags are a bit plainer, but I do still love them. Let's grab the other one out from under the mat. Much plainer, but pretty, aren't they? They are pretty. So we've done two big bags. We've done a couple of little bags. We've done a couple of parcel tags. We've done a couple of guest checks. So again, we've done that in less than an hour. So I've got eight pieces of pieces of ephemera. Let's grab my one of my journals. This is one of the journals that's needing more ephemera. And let's place a couple of pieces. I have been through it putting other bits and bobs and things in, but there's still plenty of places that needs some ephemera, like here. That would look lovely tucked in there. See, I've popped... That's much more fussy, that. Got something in there. And I've got a few pages where I would like to just stick something on to make them look like there. That needs something to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I think... Oh, yeah. That bag with that tag. Yeah, that's going to look really pretty on that page. Yeah, I think the colours go well. So that's going to go there. I'll tuck it in there so I don't forget. So, you know, I'll tuck it out. So we need to get a picture. We need to get a picture. So I forgot where it's going. So when I do it flip through, don't remind me that that should have gone on that page because I will have forgot by then. So right, that's it. Ephemera, just made with what I've got hanging about. Make something with it rather than put it away to be rearranged and reorganised another day. Get it used. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.